This is almost dry from the dyeing stage. I'm going to go ahead and put the snap on here. Okay, I've got the spot mark where the snap's going to go in. Okay, the snap part goes in there. piece goes there, it goes on this little anvil. Okay, that's tight enough. <coughs> now the other part I want to make sure that I know exactly where it's going to go. So I'm going to put this in here like it was in the case and it's sewn together. And I'm pressing on here to mark it. Another hole right in here. Trying to center it, make sure it's in the right spot. That's close enough, I think. <clears throat> okay. Put the two pieces together. Turn the little anvil over. Okay. Okay, so now I need to um, sew it together, but before I sew it together, I'm going to go ahead, let this dry a little more, and I'm going to put a coat of sealer over this uh, called um, Satin Sheen. The dye is pretty much dry. I'm going to go ahead and put a coat of this Satin Sheen on and let that dry and then I'll end up gluing this together and stitching it. I'm going to try to keep it off the edge here so I can glue it. This tends to interfere with gluing so I'm going to do the inside first. Even though I'm not doing the edge, I'm going to do the, the edge of the leather, not this part that I'm going to glue together.
It's getting closer to being done. There's only a couple steps left here. Um, gluing it together and then stitching. And then a little bit of um, burnishing and it'll be ready to go. Well, this um, sheath has had a chance to dry overnight and I'm going to go ahead and glue it together and uh, mark where I'm going to stitch it and then stitch it. I think I may go ahead and mark the stitching points with this little wheel that has a little um, star thing on it here. Anyway, I think I'm going to mark it first before I glue it together. Okay, and to do this I'm going to put this uh, cutting board, so I'm only pressing on the one surface here. Pressing down pretty hard to make the little indentations where each hole will go for the stitching. Keeps the stitching evenly spaced. I didn't do that great a job at that staying on that line. I'm off the line, but at least I'll know where to stitch it. Okay, next thing to do is go ahead and glue it together. I've got this uh, rubber cement that I'm going to use. Wow. Okay, I'll let that dry for a few minutes and then come back. It's dried enough now I'm going to put it together. I'm going to try to keep the edges even as I do this so that the stitching lines up on the, the line that I put in earlier. Good. I think the next thing now is to take it out and um, drill the holes where the stitching is going to go. So the next spot is to move out to the shop with a little drill press. I'm set up out here with the uh, little drill press and I'm going to go ahead and drill the holes for the stitching.
Okay, I don't know if you can see the little holes that are drilled there now. There, you can probably see through there. Okay, next step is stitch it together. So I'll go back inside and do that. I'm ready to start sewing. I've got this heavy thread out. I'm just going to cut off a length of it here that's long enough to stitch this. The next thing I'm going to do is put some beeswax on it, especially on the ends. It'll help me get it through the needle. The beeswax, I think, does two different things. Number one is it helps it slide through the hole, but also it's it almost gives it a sticky effect where when you tighten it down, it tends to stay in place rather than coming back out. Next thing I'll do is I'll put the needles on one on each end. And if you've watched any of these before, any of my other videos with leather, you don't have to tie it, just fold it over. It's good enough. Okay, I'm going to start on the first hole here, even up the thread, and then each needle will go through a hole, the same hole, one each direction. This is the slowest process of everything, but it will make it turn out nice. And after each thread, I pull it tight. Whoops. I'll do one more here and show you what it looks like. Okay, that's what the stitching looks like. Hopefully you can see that. I'll go ahead and finish up. Show the way it looks one more time and then I'll finish up off camera. I'm nearing the end here. I've only got a couple more holes to go through. Okay, that's the last one. I'm going to go ahead and tie it off. And 
and I'm going to cut it fairly close, but I'm still going to leave a little bit of thread there, and then I'm going to take a lighter and melt it so it can't come unraveled. Okay, when I when I heat this up, I'm going to melt it, and then I'm going to press on the, the melted part with the end of this exacto knife just to smash it flat. Okay, you can see the way that looks there. You could use the same technique to make a knife case with. Okay, there it is. Thanks for watching.